Welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. It is time to go and find that other shrine, which is up here, which is great. That's where we're going to go. We can get rid of that one now because we've done that one. Or uh, maybe we, it already did because we got there. But we're over here and we're about to go up some cliff thing somewhere. I think we're actually heading in this direction. Um, so... Yeah, maybe we're, maybe we're not going to be going to that shrine today, but it looks like there's a route round all of those different directions, so we'll carry on with where we are. But yeah, which way are we actually facing now if we look at the map? Oh, we're not facing that way. Interesting, so there's this big old thing. Maybe that's where we started and we jumped off and landed in the water. I don't know, actually. Who knows? But this is the way we're going. We're following the path, we will get to where we want to go eventually, and we will enjoy the journey along the way. When I say we, I definitely will. And that looks very breakable. Oh, hang on a minute, there's a slime. And I'm stuck in a hole. Hang on, slime. Where'd you go? Oh, now you're in there. Now you're out there. I need your jelly, mate. There we go. Nice. Oh, there is a Korok thing to do here. And some more of these things. I'll take it. Thank you very much. I'll take that one. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm never very good at these. Do, do you know what? I might actually give it a go. Enabling motion controls for aiming. Because I don't normally... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I don't normally like it. But it could come in handy when we're whoa <laughs> it's very sensitive uh when we do no geez okay that's way too sensitive is there a sensitivity slider on that it doesn't appear that there is okay geez so i'm using a pro controller um and and that's interesting oh we only have to get one oh. normally there's like a bunch oh, okay fine well, that seemed worth it. The bells are ringing again. Does that mean it's time for the uh, robots to go to work? Did I get the thing out of here? I did. Okay, so where do I go now? I don't know. Oh, there's there's these as well, which could be uh, like more. I don't think I need either of those. Actually, I can just pick those up. Could be another Korok thing. Oh, there's a frog under it. I didn't want to do that. I want to get the frog. A hot-footed frog. <laughs> Pressing all the right buttons today. Good job. Well done, Link. So how do I get it back out? I don't think I can climb up there. Um, I don't think I've got enough stamina to get back up. Huh. I guess I must have... Otherwise, it wouldn't let me down here. Oh, yeah, I've got enough to get up there. Might even be able to jump my way out. I can. Okay, good. Excellent. I had more stamina than I thought. This is good news. Let's carry on. See what else there is to see around here. More slimes. Hey, guys. Nice to meet you. You're a big fella. Jeez. Many jelly. I could sit around here and catch some fish, maybe, but I'm not going to. I'm going to move on to the next place, wherever it may be. A big tree. Big tree's going to have eggs. Eggs is nice for cooking. Uh, hang on a minute. Let's uh, sort my stamina out before we do that. Here we go. Yeah, there's the eggs. I found you. Sorry, bird. Not ever so vegan friendly. This uh, this this game, I guess. I suppose you you don't have to play like that. Don't have to have eggs. Right, there's things in that direction. There's a tunnel over there. Looks like we're going to be building ourselves a minecart in a minute, and that looks like one of those crazy ones that causes problems. So let's uh, let's give it some fire. I didn't want flint. On those. Your wooden bow is badly damaged. Oh well. 
should be fine. Now let's let him take some damage. Let's... Uh, we might as well use it again. Oh, he died. Oh, jeez, where did you come from? Whoa, okay. <laughs> Got to be a little bit careful here, because with this rock hammer, I can't get my shield out. He's throwing rocks, really? No throwing rocks. Did anyone to tell you that's dangerous? Biddly boddly bing. Biddly boddly boom. Oh, loads of weapons. Loads of weapons. Oh, it looks like we're going to be leveling up our weapon supply here. This is good news. Okay, what do we got? We've got over here a new shield. I'll take it. Yes, thank you. And this one doesn't have a claymore stuck to it. An old wooden bow. I can't carry any more. Of, really? Can I take, like... How many... Where's my bows guy? you got a quick bow, haven't you, before you can switch it out. Okay, I guess we'll drop that one. We don't need it, then. Uh, and a rusty broadsword, which uh, I guess we can get rid of this silly thing. Oh, man, never got to use it. Nice. Got some new stuff we can attach things to, which is good. What's in the chest? Anything good? An opal. Mem uh, valuable ore that gives off a mesmerizing iridescence similar to inside a seashell. Contains the power of water. So, I don't know. Well, we can probably attach it to our weapons. I don't know if that would be much use or not. Maybe that would be useful against fire enemies if it has the power of water. But... It's probably a good thing to uh, to sell, actually, that one. And this rock hammer's just about dead. So, so oh, there's another rusty broadsword there. That's very convenient, because I was going to say, we could probably chuck that away. Let's get rid of that and pick up this rusty broadsword. And there's a door here for building with. Do we actually need to build anything, though? Hmm. And there's some wood. There's always things to build things with, but is there any reason to do it? If there's a reason, great. But otherwise... I'm not carrying it around for nothing. Now, there are some minecarts here and some fans. I'm assuming we're going to be building ourselves a powered minecart right now. So let's pick that up. Put it on the track. Yeah, that's it. Let's get a fan. Let's make sure we actually get it pointing in the right direction this time. Pop it on there. Amazing. We have a powered minecart. Now, before we go off on our little minecart ride, let's pick up the uh, stuff from the mining cave. Amazing. Now let's hop in here. There we go. Give that a whack. Ideally, without something that's going to break. Now let's watch where we're going to go. Camera doesn't go with it. I want to pick the stuff up. Oh, oops. Oh, really? Throw material. Select material for inventory to throw. Hold, get ready. Why, why do I want to throw something? I want to pick things up. Hmm, bright bloom seeds. I wonder if they allow you to, like, see in the dark. Can I smash this? No. What was the point in having that minecart there, then? I guess just to show you that you could. A bit of a tutorial. What well, you gotta tell me? Mining construct. This cave is especially dark. You will need light in order to proceed. The mining side ahead. Do you have any bright bloom seeds? Yes, I do. What a relief. You would not otherwise be able to see anything as you proceed. Bright bloom seeds grow primarily in caves. There was a time once when they grew here as well. This cave has been mostly picked clean of them. This is because it's especially dark. The seeds were often necessary. My associates often forget to bring bright bloom seeds and I'm posted here to provide a reminder. Use them to light your way. If you are proceeding ahead, watch your step. Okay. So, how do I equip a bright bloom seed? A giant bright bloom seed and a bright bloom seed. Do I stick it on a weapon? Is it like having a torch? So if I go to one of these rusty broadswords and then choose my other ability 
and then go to that. No, that's not right. No. It's not... What? Have I I've forgotten how to do it already? How do I... What? How have I forgotten how to do it? I wonder if we could equip it on our shield. I just had to go to that before and select it. Why is it... What? What have I forgotten? How, how have I forgotten how to do this already? Do I need to go to this? No. Why is it not giving me the option to stick it? I can drop it. Ah, okay, yeah, it has to be on the floor. That makes sense. And let's stick it on our shield. So now if I get my shield out, will it light up? Is that how it works? No. Okay, let's try sticking one to our sword then. Um, so I guess if we drop one of those, do that, and put it on our broadsword. That didn't help at all. Oh, it does. I've got the like the tiniest little amount of light like, sticking off my sword. Okay, but this one's like really bright. Huh. Maybe I would have better been better off equipping the giant bright bloom seed. Yeah, because I can see nothing with that. What? We should go and ask this guy for some more detail, because I've something's wrong. I've clearly done something wrong here. Can you tell me? Can you explain a bit better? I hope you brought bright bloom seeds. Since you're unaware of them growing flowers, there are bright blooms shine very brightly. Many have used them as illusion, illumination in dark spaces. Uh, yeah, he's just telling me the same thing again. By the way, do you know bright blooms require stimulus to blossom? Striking a bright bloom seed or attaching it to an arrow will cause it to activate on impact. Okay. Right. Okay. So putting it one on my sword and on my shield was pointless. I wonder if I can. No. So I got to do it on an arrow. Great. So if I then fire that somewhere. There we go. Okay. That's not what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be like a torch. But that's fine. That's absolutely fine. That that's kind of. Yeah, makes some sort of sense. I guess. Hmm. Ooh, what was that? Zarnite, an unusual mineral that has many purposes. Ancients extracted energy from it and refined it for crafting weapons and armor. No way. We're going to have armor crafting. Can I have another bright bloom seed, please? They are very useful, those bright bloom seeds. I mean, you say that, you know, there was the other opportunity the developers had was to just not make the cave dark, <laughs> I guess. So, I mean, it, they are useful for the fact that the developers decided to make the cave dark and then give you a way to brighten it up, which I like. Don't get me wrong. I think this is brilliant. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not as convenient as you think. lot of these things in this here mining cave and there's a lot of rocks for us to pick up and stick to things as well which is kind of useful now we've got some good guys here oh they're all good guys I thought there was a bad guy over there but it's all right they're all good guys thank you what do you got to tell me hmm Apologies for not noticing you. I was focused on processing sunlight. 
Was that right? Oh, are you unfamiliar with it? This is on, as I mentioned. It's a unique mineral that can be mined from beneath the land below. There are trace deposits of it all on this island as well, but they're limited to this cave. Our society flourished by processing this substance into other materials. Sonite is processed by smelting it in a furnace. It is thereby converted into minerals which have useful properties. A few such materials will be ready for you to review shortly. Wait one moment. Oh, so can we give this guy Zonite to process? Thank you for your patience. I will now explain what sorts of materials the ore can be processed into. Zonite technology is typically powered by Zonite charges. These occasionally solidify into a form known as crystallized charges. Converting zonite into other useful materials in this way is called processing. Thanks. Please visit any time you require processing materials. Hmm. Okay, so... He's busy doing that. Can we pick all these things up? How many require? Take them all. All that are available. 30 pieces of zonite. It's a deal. That means we've got none left for... Uh, to get that, but he's going to process some more. Oh, we've got more things we can smash over here. Okay, this is fine. Wow, the game's just really helping us, like, level up with this thing then. Don't worry about it, mate. I'll help you out here. Watch yourself. Danger. Not danger. This cave previously had ample resources. It's gradually yielding less and less. This is why I require support, but my request of so far got an answer. I must therefore continue to mine without resting. Bless you. You can't just mine without resting. Poor creature. What are these? Let's talk. This is a minecart station. Excavated resources can be tra transported from here. Could it be that you've forgotten to bring Zonai capsules? You've forgotten yours, or oh, perhaps you may not even know what I mean. Zone capsules are a convenient means of carrying portable Zone devices. It's unfortunate that you seem to have none. I will lend you a few spares. Oh, thanks, mate. A Zone device that produces wind with its internal propeller. It's likely that the Zone made smart use of this wind power to transport objects and generate thrust. That's how we're going to get that Korok down off the cliff. The ones that are give. Hang on a minute, there's a moth flying all over me. Jeez, stop it! Get off. Don't like moths. Once they give you a fan type, so you can deploy them at any time. They will generate wind Then, when struck. Uh, they come in many varieties. I always carry for several with me for an occasion. I, many neglect to keep a healthy supply on hand. I keep watch for such individuals. The spares I give you were the last ones I carried. Take care not to forget again. Remember that a device cannot be put back in its capsule. Think carefully before deploying one from your pouch. Okay. I will, I'll think carefully. I'm also going to buy some of these now that I've got uh, some spare spare money. Oh, as many as I can take. It's a deal. Thank you. Okay, so we got minecarts, we've got fans. I guess we, uh, we need to do some of this stuff. Let's grab it. You go on there. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, and now I guess we do this. Do we just drop it? We do. Okay. And then we can stick the fan on here. Nice. Amazing. I kind of feel like it's a bit stuck on that rock, but I don't think it is. See you later, guys. Got it blown the wrong way again. Hmm. I'll figure out which way these are supposed to go in the future. It kind of makes sense that they go this way, to be fair. I, I just stuck it to that rock, didn't I? I'm a moron. Jeez. Okay, let's get out of the cart. Try again. Don't stick to the rock. Thank you. Go. Here we go, guys. It's minecart time. Wow, that's a powerful fan. This is 
incredibly floaty minecart rail. It must be some strong metal because it absolutely has no supports at all. But that's fine. Who needs supports? Oh, it's our friend. Hello, friend. How you doing, buddy? What's going on? The time bell that sounds from the Temple of the Time rings at a set time each morning and evening. Along with the constructs, we woke to the sound of the bell when we heard the, it in the evening. We knew it was time to rest. It also played its part in our traditional ceremonies. In a way, it was the place's beating heart. The sight of the temple and the sound of the bells stir fond memories in me. Oh, good for you. Thanks for telling me about the bell, mate. Appreciate it, bro. What's that thing full of? Wow, there's just so many things to see and explore. It's incredible. Smash! <laughs> what do you got to tell me? I don't like doing the voices with these guys. It's not. It kind of hurts my voice. This ice defense dispenser operation confirmed. On track to meet today's Zodai capsule production target. Oh, do you want to use the device dispenser? I nearly have met my target. You're welcome to use it. Uh, oh. Yes, this is a device dispenser. It produces Zodai capsules, converting certain resources. It's the resources it accepts are things like construct horns and Zodai charges. You can process resources that you hold by dropping them into the receptacle. It's similar to using a cooking pot. Shall I explain? No. I get ya. I get ya. So all I gotta do is use this cooking pot here. But instead of ingredients, we're gonna be using these things. So I guess hold one of those and hold one of those. So I think th it'll probably be like three blades to make a fan. Don't know what the horns will do, but let's see what happens. If I just throw these in, just two of them. Mm. I got two somethings. A flame emitter is only a device that shoots fire. It's thought to have originally used as protection from monsters. Okay. A portable pot. There's only a device for cooking food almost any time, anywhere. Last cooking one recipe only. <laughs> Okay, so we got a portable cooking pot. Why did it give us two different things? So it's not like recipes. It's a bit random. What if I just throw one of those in? Do I still get prizes? Did I get two prizes because I put two things in? Is it totally random what you get? It appears to be. It's a fan. Huh. Okay. If I just throw another one of those in, am I going to get something else? I kind of don't want to use the horns because I think they'll be useful for weapons. <laughs> What's this? A portable pot. Huh. So, yeah, it's a, the number of things you throw in is determines what you get. So, if I throw one of those in, that's five fuse attack power, though. We'll do it. If I throw one of those in, what do I get? Do I get something special? Because they're more rare. <laughs> I get a portable pot. Great. Okay. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck a bunch of these things in. And just get five more things. <laughs> Whoa. What? Okay, so I put five in and I get lots of things. What? <laughs> Do it again. Presents. Just have all of them. You never know we're going to need lots of fans. So flame emitters, fans and pots seem to be the only thing we can get at this point. Maybe it will open up more in the future and allow us to have even more things. But it feels like uh, they're the only things it's going to produce at the moment. Huh. 
I don't know. I don't want to spend them all. Jeez, look at this. I don't want to spend them all, but I do want to get a lot because I think they're going to come in really useful. Now, how can we see what we've actually got? So no devices. So we've now got 20 fans, <laughs> six flame emitters. Uh, I don't know how we use that. I guess we just throw it on the floor and a portable, uh, 17 portable pots. Right, let's just chuck a few more of them in. <laughs> get a few more and then I'll be done. Okay. There we go. Eat all those. Give me more presents. Nice. So I'm assuming there's going to be more than just this one of these on the world. Because there's no, like, seemingly... There's no, like, fast travel system that I've noticed. Although there used to be towers. In Breath of the Wild, there were towers that you could fast travel from point to point. I say fast travel and I use the term very loosely. Because it was uh, very much... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? No, I don't want to use an arrow. I want to use my thing. There we go. What's that down there? Ah, it's another Korok tree thing. Yeah, it was, there's a long loading stream, screens, but I, I haven't seen any towers on this. And I know we haven't got to the main part of the world yet, but you would think if there was a tra fast travel point to this, then there'd be something that was obvious. I've just noticed there's some things growing up by that tree, and I can't tell if they're just mushrooms or if there's something else. I just want to go and investigate that. Oh man, so many things to investigate. So many places to go. No, it was a bird. Okay. That's the shrine we did last episode. So I'm going to go down here and then we're going to go in the other direction because there was more to explore at the top of there. We do want to go to that tree and see if we can get ourselves another Korok seed. Don't need a stick. I'll take an arrow. Oh, a chest. Smash, smash, smash. Getting all the arrows. Smash, smash. What you got in there for me? Energizing elixir. Amazing. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, mate. Oh, can we not get over to it? Ooh. No. We could probably... Is that... That's not the one we went to... Oh, it is. It's the one we went... We've already been to it. Jeez. Right. Don't need to go there then. I was going to say we could probably jump over it if we tried really hard, but uh, we won't do that. We'll just accept the chest and our new Alexa. Alexa? Yeah, that's what I said. And then we're going to go. Uh, we're going to go back over this way. See what there is to see over here. We'll climb over this little thing here. And there's. Obviously, all that in front of us there, and there's the shrine up there that we're, I guess, heading towards semi-next. I mean, that's the next thing I need to do to open up the last ability. I just set off that fan. You're wasting my battery. Stop it. But there's also that stuff over there. Oh, man. Can I knock the apples out of the tree? Would that make life easier for picking them up? No. Have to do a little hop. So this obviously exists for a reason. That's going to be to get over there. That looks dangerous. That almost looks boss battle. Circular, circular floors equal bosses. And that looks like it's the next part of the journey somewhere as well. So let's go this way first onto this little bit of island over here. Then we'll come back to those things before we go anywhere. Let's get some eggs. Get some eggs. Everybody like, oh, no eggs in this tree. You suck, tree. Why do you even exist? <laughs> Nothing up here. Shiny things. Oh, it's a stick. Oh, another one of these. My friend got separated. Yeah, so. Can I pick you up? I can. So I can put you in a minecart. That's perfect. Okay. Minecart, please. Bring that over here. 
the fan on it here and then we can carry both things at once, I guess. That makes life simpler. So these blow... Oh, wrong button. That's going to blow it. There we go. That's blowing in the right direction. No, it isn't. That's going to blow it in the right direction. There we go. Let's grab that. And we'll take our little Korok for a spin. Hey, Nate. I'm going to help you find your friend. Good at putting minecarts on track. Yeah. Come in with me. Get in there. Look out. There we are. Quick before we end up going back again. Uh, minecart. No. Thank you. I suppose we could get back. There's more minecarts over there. <laughs> but I built that one. Yeah. There's my friend. Here you go, buddy. Yeah. Reunited at last. Thanks. I'd like to give you something, but here's all I have. Two Korok seeds. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you very much. Ooh. Nice. We solved the riddle. Riddle? Yes. The riddle. Smash, smash, smash. Smash. Can we break that? No. You look in the chest, though. Give it a kickling. There's more Zonite. Amazing. It's just what I wanted. Right. We're going to build another minecart. We're going to go up this hill. And we're going to have a minecart that goes on a thing because the minecart track is a bit broken so we're going to have a hanging minecart I feel like yeah that'll work hanging minecarts of the future right we need to put this down underneath but we actually need to give ourselves room to build on it as well so let's bring it back up here stick a fan on it. There's one down there. No point in wasting one on my own. <laughs> Put that at the back there. Just like that. Lovely job. <laughs> Hook this on. I need to get it on the other side, though. And I kind of done my hook a bit wrong. Can we slot it up through the middle? There we go. And spin it round. Ah, oh, it didn't work. Why? There we go. It's on. Go. Let's do this. I didn't go to those caves under there, which I'm now regretting. But I, I saw an opportunity to have some fun. And I took it. Alright. Let's uh, not let that disappear. You just wait there for me for when I come back. Okay. Oh, I can build another one. That's fine. Yeah, I don't want to go up there yet. I'm not ready. I want to go back down. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it, mate. It doesn't look like I'm going to get up there from here anyway, maybe. Possibly. Another chest. What is it? A portable pot. Oh, i got millions of those. I can do cooking wherever I want, mate. So, could we get up there from there? It doesn't look like we can. We could probably get down from there to here if we're already up there. But I don't think... We can maybe climb up it. Possibly and go over that way, but we don't need to because where I need to go is down there, and what we can do here is go and catch that fish. Yep. Give me the fish. I don't then. Fine. Yep. 
Right, we'll go in this cave, then we'll go over there, and then we'll do that boss fighty thing, I guess. Possibly. I just... I just want to say, what a what an amazing game. What an absolutely... I'm so in love with it already. Just like I was with Breath of the Wild. Discovery. Pit cave. Well, you got to tell me. Load of nonsense, no doubt. Do I go in the cave first, or do I go and do that boss thing first? Because this kind of looks like it's leading up to the snowy place. Uh, let's see what this guy's got to say. Excuse me, the snowy mountain above us is extremely cold. I know, I've been on it. Unprepared travellers will swiftly lose vitality and may even die. Are you fortified against the cold? Yep, I'm all good, thanks. Speaking of, actually, being all good, we should probably cook a little bit more because we... Oh, we've got a few of them, actually. No, we got we got a reasonable amount. But we've got some more of these now, so let's, let's have a three chilli... Um, mushroom stamina bulb. No, I don't think you can mix them, can you? So, uh, three chili mushroom. No, egg. There we go. Blum, 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 blum. <laughs> Spicy fruit and mushroom mix. Nine minutes and 30 cold resistance. Oh, man. Let's make another one. Uh, what if I put in four chilies under egg? A really spicy omelette. <laughs> 11 minutes, 30. Amazing. Wow. Eggs are really good for your stamina. Jeez, let's put in four chilies and a mushroom. <laughs> nice, 10 minutes 30. Fantastic. Okay, let's smash this. Lead us into another area. Oh, look at all of this. So many. Thank you, game. I'll take all of these. I'm already encumbered with stuff in this game. This is amazing. I'm playing 10 minutes. Four hours? Yeah, probably about four hours. <laughs> Does it tell you anywhere how long you've been playing for? Is there a... Is there a... Hey, you've been playing for this amount of time screen. What, when I save it, does it tell me? It just tells me what time it is. Okay, it doesn't tell me how many hours. That's a shame. Does it tell me on here? No... We got some more to save though, so that's good news. It'd be nice if it saved them at each shrine. I'd love to be able to like come back to it and do, oh right, okay, let's do a tutorial on this shrine. And I'm just there. It doesn't it doesn't seem to allow you to just make saves where you want to. It always overwrites the last save that you did. Which is a bit of a shame. It'd be nice to be able to just make as many saves as you wanted, but it could be a lot worse. Alright, let's go and uh, see what this is all about. I, I can't get, I need to use that ramp thing for that, okay. I know it's cold. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Safe. Oh, I don't want to fire a fan. Where's that fire stuff? There it is. Flux construct one. Oh, okay. Huh. Yeah. It's a boss fight, guys. It's definitely a boss fight. Um... With many power. 
I don't think this is a fight I can win at this stage of the game because I have hardly any hearts. I've got no armor. I mean, I could probably brew up a few elixirs if I really needed to. But I really don't think that's going to help us all that much. Oh, jeez, I thought I'd missed that then. I just want to... I just want to see it again. Can we make that better? Now, what button do I have to do to do that? I need to pick an item that's good for those things. So let's order by... No, I didn't mean to do that. Order by fuse attack power. Oh, you need to look in your inventory for that, really. Three, four, five. Double-edged blade like a horn. I just don't want it to turn my sword into a, a lance thing, a spear. So, but we'll, we'll try one. No, I don't want to do that. Let's pick that back up. Drop one of those. Do that. And then we'll put it on our rusty broadsword. Which is now apparently better. Okay. I don't think this is something we can achieve right now. I think we've got absolutely no chance. Okay, so let's do something with that. Is it... Do we need to use one of our powers for it? Whoa. Okay. That nearly killed us. Let's have some food. Which one's cheap? I want something that's not gonna... There we go, that'll do. Okay, so we can hit it with a bow. Oh, jeez, not again. I didn't mean to press that button. I'm just wondering whether we can... We can. We can we can take it to bits. We just like Whoa! No. Can we, can we steal that one. I could be here all day shooting that thing. No, no! Oh, wrong button again, jeez. Hey, that was the big one. I didn't mean to eat that one. I feel like uh, stealing his hand is, is, is the smart thing to do here. But I'm pressing the wrong button again. Jeez. Panicking because it's a boss. Let me pick it up. There we go. Okay, so now I can go and give it a good wallop. Okay. That worked out well. I think we can get this. Just need to pick the right box. Which is tricky, because I can't press the right buttons, apparently. Hey, got it. There we go. Nearly down. I just, I think I just broke my amber sword though. Uh, what have we got that's strong? That, that's quite strong. Oh, oh, oh. No shoot. I'm really small. Come on, let me get it. Oh, wrong button again. Jeez. Let me get it. Got it. Nice. We got it! I did it. We got a new thing, whatever this is. Is that something we can get? We can grab it. I don't know why we would grab it, but it's obviously been left there for a reason. What do we need it for? Can we, can we put it somewhere? Can we, like, put it on here?
What is it? Huh. Why give us that if we can't do anything with it? Surely we can. Can I interact with it with something I've got? Hmm. I could have tried to use one of those while we were doing that. Yeah, we got we got the bad guy, guys. There must be a reason for this. It must go somewhere. I don't believe it doesn't go somewhere. I mean, it looks deadly. It looks like you could attach it to something and mince things up with it. I mean, I can attach it to things. But why? it for? What does it do? Can I mince things with it? Huh. It must be for something. It's like an engine. Well, I don't know. All I do know is, unfortunately, it's the end of this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.